So what is a fat transfer? Well, simply put, it's where you have a little bit of extra fat, let's say on the belly or in the backside, and, but your face or your hands or some other part of you is looking a little gaunt and you're looking a little older in those areas because what happens over time, and it can happen even at a pretty young age, is that you can start losing cheekbones, you start getting more shadows around the mouth, your hands may start looking older because the skin gets thinner. Well, these are all things that are easily fixed by fat. What do we do? We take your fat out with a little local anesthesia using the same tools that we use for liposuction, but it's all under local anesthesia. You can talk to me while we're doing it. Uh, we just did it this morning for someone. It's that easy. And they were talking to me the whole time. We were exchanging stories while we did the procedure. Um, we then take the fat out in a sterile fashion and purify it so they're more of the stem cells and pure fat cells. And then we inject it into the areas wherever we're going, usually the face. Um, and the advantage is you can put quite a bit in. So you can really rejuvenate someone's skin and look in a permanent way because this fat is your fat. And then when you put it in the cheekbone, it lives there. And five years later, it's still there. So under the eyes is a very popular area, uh, temples around the mouth, because we all start losing the fat, or if we don't lose it, the fat falls because of gravity. So it might be here and now it's down here. Now you get the big fold uh, next to your nose. And that's all because the fat has moved. So it's a very simple process. And what's nice about it is it truly is green cosmetic surgery, just using you to fix you. It's not about making you look like someone else. It's about taking you and making you look a, like a younger version of you, how you used to look when you had nice, healthy fat in your cheeks and around here, and you had that nice, youthful look. This is about restoring that look. And it can really work wonders with and without doing something invasive like a facelift. This is the key. So um, it's not a risky procedure. It's your material, it's your fat. We're not cutting anything. I don't use a single suture for the entire operation. And um, you do it in an hour and then you're done. You're a little bit swollen afterwards. It's not something you do and go to a party that evening. But if you do it on a Thursday, depending on the area, usually by Monday, you can be back doing what you want to do. So it, it works that well. It's very reliable. If you put it in the right places in the face, it will stay there. It's not going to go away. So um, it's, it's a great option for someone who's looking for something more long lasting. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, why not just use fillers? And well, we use fillers all the time. What's the, why fillers here versus fat there? Well, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll use fillers first. Fillers are man-made materials that mimic the collagen and elastic tissue and hyaluronic acid that's already in your skin. They mimic it, and when you inject them, they might last six months to a year in the area. So for a lot of people, they just want to feel this out. A lot of people will have me inject filler first, and then after six months a year, they say, well, I really like that look, but it'd be lovely if I could just keep it permanent and use my own material so I don't have to come back every year and have you re-inject the fillers. So fillers have a little bit less downtime, not that much. You can still get bruising with them, but it's a little bit easier. You can come in lunch hour and we put on some numbing cream and 20 minutes later, we inject the filler and then 10 minutes after that, you're out of here and, and you're, you're good. And it, what you see is what you get. It looks better immediately. So that's an advantage of fillers. Fat, you're more swollen. 
for at least a few days to a week. So it's not the kind of thing you do right before you're gonna have a wedding. Well, I wouldn't do fillers right before the wedding either. But, um, but so it takes a little bit longer, but it's highly effective and you can't have a reaction to your own fat because it belongs to you. And that's a, for some people, that's a really important thing. They don't wanna use anything foreign in their body. I respect that. The fillers are very safe. We've been using it for many years, but for some people it's more of a, a theoretical thing that they just wanna stick with natural um, cosmetic improvements. And your own fat is use one. Now, the other place that's very common is let's say a woman has small breasts and she'd like them to be a bit bigger, but she doesn't want to look uh, gigantic. She wants to be proportioned to the rest of her body. And let's say she has a little extra fat someplace else on the body. Well, at the same time we can do liposuction for that, we can take that fat and make her breasts safely a little bit bigger maybe a cup size in a totally natural way because breasts are mostly fat. You're just taking fat and adding it back. So, and you can also change the shape and make breasts perkier by putting the fat in the upper part of the breasts so they have a better shape, a younger shape. So that's another commonly uh, treated area, especially for someone who really doesn't want to put an implant in their body. Um, so for them, using their own fat is, is a great thing. Okay, now um, an important thing. How much does this cost? Well, fillers really are like seven to nine hundred dollars per syringe, and oftentimes you'll need more than one syringe. Um, but it still winds up being a little bit less expensive and fat, except that you have to repeat it. Um, fat transfer, the smallest area might be 2,500. And the largest area might be 6,000, 7,000, something like that. Um, so that's the sort of range. It is a little bit more than fillers for sure. However, I would say it's, it's the difference between renting your house versus buying it. Well, if you're gonna be in it for more than three years, and hopefully you're gonna own your face for more than three years, then it's something to consider. Do you wanna own your face, or do you wanna to have to rent again and put some more fillers in? That's the way to look at it. There's nothing, either way you can accomplish it. Uh, you, can't you can't use fillers in the breast, and you can't quite get the same naturalness for the whole face that you can get with fat. So that is one advantage of fat. If you're really doing someone's whole face, rejuvenating, you'll get a more natural appearance because there is nothing more natural than your own fat. That's what was there when you were 18, and that's what you've lost. So uh, what I would suggest, any if you have any interest in this, just come on in, we do personalized uh, consultations, and we can discuss looking and in the mirror together and you're addressing things that bother you. And we can discuss what can be done and what can it cost. Thank you so much.